cardiac output. Now, after each ventricle is filled with blood, left ventricle or right ventricle, one ventricle I am taking, I'm for example, I am taking the left ventricle. After it is completely filled with blood, it is filled with blood after atrial systole. Now, we have 120 ml of blood present inside the ventricle. Each ventricle contains 120 ml. Now, it underwent contraction. So, ventricles have underwent contraction. So, blood from the left ventricle has entered into systemic arch. It has entered into systemic arch. Likewise, from right ventricle, blood will be pumped out by outside by pulmonary arch. So, we are taking on the left side. Now, out of when ventricles have contracted, out of 120 ml, 70 ml has left, 70 ml has entered into the systemic arch. That means, still some 50 ml is left behind inside the ventricles. So, that means during ventricular systole, the total amount of blood is not pushed outside. So, some amount is pushed outside, some amount is left behind. Now, whichever amount which is going outside is called as stroke volume. It is called stroke volume. A normal stroke volume is 70 ml. It is called, it is 70 ml. Number of heartbeats, number of heartbeats per minute, say 70 heartbeats per minute. That will give you the cardiac output. So, that is roughly 4900 ml. Cardiac output means from each ventricle, the amount of blood pumped outside by each ventricle in one minute. That is called cardiac output. It is equal to stroke volume into number of heartbeats per minute. Stroke volume means during one heartbeat, how much of blood is pumped outside. So, that is around 70 ml. Number of heartbeats is 70, so it is roughly 5 liters. The cardiac output can increase or decrease. Now, there are, there is autonomous nervous system and there are hormones which influence the cardiac output. The autonomous nervous system, there is sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves. In emergency condition, sympathetic nerves are stimulated. Now, when sympathetic nerves are stimulated, the cardiac output, the, the number of heartbeats per minute, that is the rate of heartbeat, they are increased. So, that is an emergency condition. Say, for example, a, a snake is just before us. So, under that condition, my heartbeat gradually increases. So, under that condition, the stroke volume also is increases. Under that condition, the total cardiac output, so more blood is pumped, more glucose, more oxygen, more energy. That's the conditions. Now, say for example, you have, you have ran away and you are far off from the snake and that emergency conditions no longer, no longer exist. Under that conditions, parasympathetic nerves are stimulated. That elevated heartbeat, from 100 beats, the heartbeat has come, come back to 70 again. So, cardiac output also gradually will come down. Likewise, epinephrine, adrenaline or adrenaline, thyroxine, these will all influence the cardiac output.